AA Big Book, they have that wonderful phrase that, uh, that they become restless, irritable, and discontent. And what they're really saying is that they've moved back into imagination and out of their lives, if you will. The, uh, and I saw, uh, I think it was from Seneca. I just happened to be watching something last night and a, and a quote from him arose and it said, you know, that, <clears throat> that our suffering occurs in, in our imagination and not the world. And, you know, this is, you know, we've had 2000 years to learn from that lesson, but most of us haven't learned it yet, but we're learning, you and I, we're all learning. And, 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 and you know how we're learning? is we're learning not to know so damn much because the last thing that I was absolutely sure of was that I was a Fred Davis and that this body and this face was the way that a Fred Davis looked and that the way that this thing behaves is the way that a Fred Davis is and there's nothing I can do with that. And yeah. um, <clears throat> I didn't realize <clears throat> that the one making that statement was a whiteness itself but it was a whiteness in divine confusion because it actually, I mean, it's apparently a pretty good deal for whiteness to enjoy um, the, the dream of relativity because there, a whiteness can experience itself as other. Oneness can experience itself as other. And the love that is felt here, now it's... Oh, I look at the beautiful, look at that beautiful tree and that magnet. Oh, God, it just makes my heart swell. And the sky is so blue today. And I don't realize that I'm singing praises to myself. 